That's one proud gourd right there. Hello everyone and welcome. The other day when I was on the web, I saw a picture for a gourd water bottle, clicked on the link and kind of followed it down its rabbit hole to a website that was selling these gourd water bottle, canteen, water containers, whatever you want to call them. And they were selling them for $60 a piece. And obviously people were buying these or else they wouldn't be a regular item on their website. And I was amazed by this because this box of gourds has probably 100, 120 gourds in it. And each one of these gourds contain viable seeds. And there's probably a million plus seeds in this box. And this one box of gourds literally cost me nothing but my own time. I got the seeds for free. Uh, growing them didn't cost me nothing. Harvest them didn't cost me nothing. And even drying them doesn't cost me anything because like I said, you just hang them up in your rafters and let them dry during the hot months as you harvest them. The only expense I can find in making a gourd water bottle is if you had to buy paraffin wax uh, because you didn't have any beeswax. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to make a $60 gourd water bottle for just about nothing. In picking out your gourds, there are various shapes and sizes. Uh, a lot of people like to use gourds that look like this to decorate, uh, make like a swan, birds, things like that. Little Santa Claus is out of these. And even this one right here where the top is broken off is useful. You can make you a little flower pot out of it or something, but as you can see, there's still seeds inside of it. And every one of these seeds is viable. When picking out your gourd, I like to use a gourd with a flat bottom so that it'll sit down on its own. And when I'm picking it out, give everything a good squeeze. See how that one just broke through? That means that it's no good. And like I said, look at all the seeds that are inside of this. So I'm gonna set this one off the side so I can put the seeds up. So my next candidate will be this one. It's got a nice flat bottom on it so that it'll sit upright on its own. And applying pressure to it, it doesn't feel like it's gonna break through anywhere. And this is about the right size as opposed to a big old giant one like this, I think is gonna be too big. So now that we have our candidate, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is clean up the outside of my gourd before I breach it in any way. Because I'm gonna be applying a lot of pressure to the outside of it, I don't wanna crack the mouth of it. I'm gonna start off with an aggressive grit sandpaper and then finish off with about a 220 grit. Now that we have our gourd sanded on the outside and it's roughed up, we can decide what type of finish we wanna put on the outside. They usually use wax on the outside of these, but you can also varnish them. Uh, you can use leather dye, you know, a dye made from coffee grounds and then go over it with some wax. It's just however you wanna do it. I decided I'm gonna go with a wax finish on the outside of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for my cork and this will give me an access hole to clean out the inside of it. And to do that, I'm just gonna use my multi-tool. First, I'm gonna cut the stem off of it. Now I'm just gonna take the cork that I've decided I'm gonna use for this and kinda of scribe a little line around it. And that's what I'm gonna to use to cut out the hole. That'll work. And I'm just gonna start kinda of twisting my knife into it. As you can see, the inside top portion of this gourd is pretty thick. With my starter hole finished, I'm just gonna whittle out to the line that I drew around the outside of it. And you can use a drill bit to do this. I'm just using my multi-tool because I'm trying to show that, you know, this is something that can be done kind of in the field. All right, it's time for a little test fit, see how it goes. And it's getting there. I may need to widen it out just a little bit more because I'm gonna put wax in here to help seal it up. And as you can see, the inside is still pretty rough. So that wax will help smooth it out some. 
Now it's time to clean it out. To clean it out, I'm just gonna use my coat hanger and I'm gonna take and crimp down this bend a little bit to fit in that hole. So here are all the seeds that came out of that gourd. And there's a little bit of chaff in here, but it's not gonna hurt anything. And like I said, I'm gonna put these up as is. And here is our now cleaned out on the inside gourd. We're ready to apply wax to the outside of it and the inside of it. To melt my wax, I'm just gonna use my little Weber grill, but not like you think. As you can see, I'm barbecuing some chicken and paraffin wax is highly flammable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and put a bowl on top of it and then put my wax in there and let it melt. So I'm ready to pour my wax into my gourd now and make sure that you're wearing gloves because both the gourd and probably the container that you're using to put the wax in the gourd is gonna be hot. And I'm gonna take and pour it in there. I'm gonna put my top on and I'm just gonna slush it around in there and get me a good seal all the way around. And then pour the rest back in the container. Now I'm just gonna take the mouth of it and dip it in the wax. As you can see, we're getting to the point now where it's not leaking. Now I'm just gonna take and dip it in this little bowl and kind of smear it around. Now I'm just gonna take and insert this top into the bowl of wax. All right, so here's our gourd water bottle filled with water. As you can see, it sealed up pretty good. To finish off my gourd, I'm just gonna make me a lanyard out of this cordage that I made from the big coffee bean sacks that come in uh, from other countries. I took some of the threads or burlap, or whatever you want to call it out of it, and then Flemish twisted it together to make this cordage. And if you wanna know how to do like a Flemish twist type cord, I have one posted. Uh, it's actually from a yucca plant. And I also use this as well. So I'm just gonna find about the center of my cord and then give it a couple of twists like that. And then wrap them backwards. And then once I've gone around two or three times, I'm just gonna tie them in a knot. So here is our gourd water bottle and lanyard. And this literally cost me a half a box of paraffin wax, which I normally keep on hand anyway. So, and that's a far cry from the $60 that they're trying to sucker you out of on the web. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time.